Welcome everyone to our next episode of Rumination. Today, let's talk about something very useful. Now, it's a protective garment, but, 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 check this out. It's worn over the front of the body and it's tied around the back, but... As I mentioned, probably, because I forgot, it's worn in the kitchen, so it's an apron, okay? Now, it serves various purposes, not only in the kitchen, but it's mostly associated with cooking or working in the kitchen, so yeah. You know, but, 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 it can be used, for example, in gardening, crafting, and certain industrial or laboratory settings, okay? So there are options. So the primary purpose of an apron is to protect the wearer's clothing from spills, stains and splatters. In the kitchen, it helps keep your clothes clean while cooking or baking. They're particularly important in professional kitchens where chefs are required to maintain a high level of our hygiene. Wearing an apron can prevent cross-contamination and transfer of germs from clothing to food. They often have pockets, providing a convenient place to keep utensils, kitchen tools or other small items, reducing the need to search for them. They can be a form of personal expression or branding. Many people choose aprons with patterns, colors or designs that reflect their personality or profession. Aprons are probably and should be most likely made from materials that are easy to clean, whether they are machine washable or can be wiped down easily, so there should be probably mostly not a real issue with that. Okay, now, when you're wearing an apron, you, so when, when a person sees you or looks at you and go, and they might go in their head, like, damn, that's a professional. And I want to work with that person. So, you know, when you're wearing an apron, you might look like a, oh, you might look like a professional and you might get some new customers or clients. So that's up to you if you're not wearing an apron or you're wearing an apron. In a hot kitchen environment, wearing an apron might contribute to heat retention and discomfort. However, there are aprons designed with readable materials to address this issue. Some people find that aprons can be restrictive, especially if they are long or have a tight fit. This can be a concern in environments where quick and agile movements are necessary. Now, there's also a little bit of a historical significance to aprons as they have been worn for centuries and their style and uses have also evolved over time because for example in the 19th century for example women often wore aprons as part of their daily attire now i'm not saying they don't use it today also but i don't want to sound judgmental i know i do but whatever now Aprons have also a sort of a symbolism to it because in some cultures aprons have a significant symbolism for like some in some certain ceremonies or rituals. I'm not talking about cults now, but they act as the act of putting an apron on may represent a sort of a transition or maybe a commitment to a specific role. In the recent years, there has been a growing trend of apron fashion, where people wear aprons as stylish accessories rather than just functional garments. Designers and artists have created unique and fashionable aprons 
turning them into a form of wearable art, whether for practicality, hygiene or fashion, aprons continue to be versatile and essential garments in various aspects of daily life. Okay, 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 okay. As that's behind us now. Uh, do you have an apron? I do, I do have an apron. Do you have one? Oh, I... It's not mine. If it would be mine, I would have it more, well, let's say, personalized. Now, I want to ask you the very, uh, like, the most important question for me when it comes to this topic, that what, uh, how does your apron look like? It's, hmm, I think it has a shape which is one you usually have in your mind if you think about apron so you have it around your around your neck and you need to tie it in your waist and it's like it's not the short one but the longer one a little bit it has a pocket and there is some graphics on it but it's like um it's not personalized because I just needed to buy one and I bought what I saw. So I wasn't really thinking about it so much. Oh, uh, uh, okay, okay. That, that's that's enough. That, that's enough for normal use. But if I would have my own like apron, I would probably need some something on it, like. I know that in some, at least in some movies or some something like that, if the, uh, someone is using an apron, there's sort of a design on it or something like that. For for example, I like those when like men are at the grill and they have an apron on it uh, uh, on, and there's the, that design that. At the, on the apron that with a very muscular body, for example. But, but in my case, I would never go a muscular body on it. I would go with a female body on it, just just because. <laughs> so that would be the apron you would buy for yourself. Yes, <laughs> a female body in a bikini. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not go over the top when you're using when when you're gonna use that? Because, well, I I want to laugh at myself when I want to. Okay, when I'm gonna look in the mirror and I'm gonna see that I'm gonna yeah I'm uh, I will go nuts. But then, how much you're going to cook if you're gonna laugh so much? Yeah, I'm not gonna cook much. I'm just gonna do it for the thing. So, why to have one then? Well, where it's, when you would wear it, it? Well, that's that's a good question. I would probably just wear it only a few times. But, uh, but let's be honest. I'm not a big cook, as we already mentioned. But yeah. I would probably uh, really wear it like three or four times. When? Just for the laughs, and uh -huh. that's that's just it. for the laughs. Of course. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Why else would I use an apron as a man? Oh, so it means if you're cooking, then there is no chance of some kind of food getting on your clothes. Do I understand it correctly? <laughs> well, yes, but if someone else cooks for me, then there's no reason for me having the, that apron on me. Mm -hmm. I see. So you would just have people for these stuff. Yes, yes, yes. I have people for, for cooking. So there's no issue with mm -hmm. that. All right. So, one question then. Yes. How much time would you spend looking for the right apron for you? 
Ooh, I mean, I would probably look for at multiple web, probably websites for for such apron. But yeah, the the picking of an apron would take longer than I would have it on myself. I can imagine. <laughs> Okay, that's it for this topic. Thank you guys for listening. If you find this information useful or interesting or anything else, share this with us in comments below. Also like and subscribe. Share this episode with your friends so you can laugh together. And until next time, bye.